um, install the BBBRC on, uh, on this computer. So I was just going to start this up and show you the quick check to see what's going on. And you'll probably run into this if you're installing it on a new Mac as well. And it's telling me that it can't be open because the developer can't be verified, which is because it's non-trivial to get developer creds with Apple to do tools like this. The workaround is to right-click on this guy or command-click and do open. Usually that's the same thing as double-clicking, but here you get an option to actually open the app. You'll get a message like this saying that the app wants to open the terminal. That's because it's opening a terminal and that you want to say yes for that. So then that, that gives us a little window here. And this is where you're going to be doing the command line routine work. One thing to do that if you say P3, all genomes, that's the command that will enumerate all of the genomes in the system. Because there's a lot of them, it can take a while. So we'll just let that run. I'll, I'll bring up another window here to show the other thing that you want to do. Because remember, first thing that Rebecca had us do when we've started out was to get an account and log into the website. And that's the same thing you need to do on the command line interface if you're going to do any sort of non-trivial work that involves you know, your workspace, your private genomes, or anything like that. The command is similar here. I'm going to say P3 login, and my login is Olson. And it's going to ask me for my password. They'll tell me logged in with my username. So this tells me a lot. So my computer here is on the network, is able to talk to the BBBRC backend. Now I can look at the files in my workspace. I can do that. I got a big list of files. So that tells me that pretty much if that works, and this other command here is taking forever, so we'll do another one that is a little tougher to type but should run quickly. What I just did was look up what the scientific name was for this genome ID. And so that tells me that my laptop here can go talk to the network and talk to the solar database get information back out of it. If your install is able to do both of those things, you should be good to go.